brakes always a big story at Martinsville. Let's go to the Roush Racing Team Caliber 360 racer, BP. We're always talking about brakes and the brake heat and whatever. Let me show you something else that, that show another, another problem it causes. Here is the rotor that gets so hot. And you notice how close it is to the wheel and where the tire mounts on the wheel. This is what's called the bead of the tire. Sometimes this rotor gets so hot, it melts the bead of the tire, causes the right front tire to go flat. All right, green flag. Jeffrey Bodine in the 23 is the leader. Did not stop under that caution. Only lead lap car not to do so. Craven underneath. Three wide move there, and Craven's now the leader. Here's Junior and Jeff Gordon. This will be interesting. Well, Junior did the right thing. You don't want to be in the middle going down at turn one. Actually, probably worse to be on the outside, Benny, because you're the one that's going to go on the wall if you're on the outside. <laughs> Running order shuffled up by that set of pit stops. Craven now the leader. Bodine is second, racing with Gordon for that spot. And you've got Dale Jr. fourth. Jeff Burton and Johnny Benson racing for fifth and sixth. Rusty Wallace seventh. And then Ward Burton eighth. Jimmy Johnson ninth. Tony Stewart tenth. Whoa! Wally. These guys are diving in on each other. Jeff Burton dove in on Johnny Benson. I don't think Johnny knew he was there because he came right on the top of Jeff Burton, but they got away with it. That didn't go too well off turn two there for Burton. Now here comes Junior on Jeff Gordon. Oh, look at that slide job. Junior goes to the corner, pushes Jeff Gordon up the hill, takes over that second spot. And the 23 car coming back to try and reclaim third. Now, all of a sudden, Jeff Gordon losing another spot. Jeffrey Bodine goes by. Here's a 10 car. Johnny Benson trying to get by. Boy, Jeff Gordon's car does not look like it wants to turn up off the corner. Now, coming to that last caution flag. Oh, Jeff Burton in the wall. Look at the damage now that Jeff Gordon has on his left front fender. I said Jeff Gordon. I think it was Jeff Gordon that hit the wall so hard. Yes, it was. He's slow. Well, Jeff I, Gordon is slow. Was Jeff Burton right, right front down? Didn't Jeff Burton run into him, though? Left front is rubbing the... The tire is rubbing the fender, but I think he made contact with... The red. That, look, at, look at that right front. That doesn't look like it's at the right angle, does it? No, it... it well, there is a lot of a camber in that right front, but... He may have a lot more now. He have left front fender clear. Left side to get that fender clear. Except he can't get to pit road. But it looked like Jeff Burton came up and ran into Jeff Gordon, and that's why Gordon went into the wall. That could be. The left side, the right side. Let's take a look at it again here. Watch the 99 car on the bottom. You see Jeff up top. Jeff gets a little bit sideways. Runs into the 24, 24 into the wall. So I guess Burton is who did the damage to the left front fender. Right, and turned Jeff into the wall. All right, we're just past halfway, and Jeff Gordon is on the pit lane under green, Bill. Well, if you think he didn't like this place before, <laughs> it's a safe bet he doesn't like it all now. It'll be four tires. Robbie Loomis been on the radio, told him to make sure you pull that sheet metal out. They're able to get the jack underneath there. They'll change the tires. Topped it off with fuel. Didn't need that much because they were all just here. But this is the first of the championship contenders to take a big hit today. He'll fall a couple of laps down. Uh, Rudd made his up. We're only halfway through. Maybe Gordon can make it up. But this is a long stop and the laps flicking by. And they're looking at the right front like what kind of problem have they got over there? They, I guess they determined they don't have too much structural damage. So they'll go ahead and change left side tires and try to get that fender out. Uh, they'll look underneath there. They look on the left side, too, but they look there to see if there's any damage. Might as well fix it while we're here rather than have to come back in. Trouble. And trouble off turn four. A big cloud of smoke. Bunch of cars emerging out of that. Bobby Labonte, one of the last cars to emerge. And they come back around to the caution. Elliot Sadler is going to get back on the lead lap. One of the first indications that you have something bent is the way your steering wheel is pointed. Yeah, right. And that's one thing Jeff Gordon can tell the guys, hey, my steering wheel's off, which means your toe is out or something's bent in the suspension. 20, like that may yeah. Have been, yeah. He was the one that did the flying 360 and threw up the cloud of smoke. 
he's got a lot of damage on his right front fender that looks fairly new. <laughs> and he only like, he doesn't have a right front fender. I'm sorry. And he only fell back to 14th in the spin. All right, who pits this time? Well, Jeff Gordon's going to come back in to check everything out. Bill Elliott, Jeffrey Bodine, Robbie Gordon, Matt Kenseth. So not many of the leaders coming in. Jeff Gordon with problems just past halfway in the Old Dominion 500 at Martinsville. You're watching NASCAR on NBC. Navy presents the Old Dominion 500, brought to you by Ford, no boundaries. By Stacker 2, the world's strongest fat burner. Burn fat, crush cravings, and supercharge your energy. By Pep Boys, help for your car is just a Pep Boys away. Pep Boys, we're car people. And by the Home Depot, NASCAR's home improvement warehouse. Next Saturday at 1 Eastern Time, it's the Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships on NBC. The world's best horses and jockeys from Arlington Park in Chicago. War Emblem, the Kentucky Derby and Preakness winner, will be in the field. That's next Saturday at 1 Eastern on NBC. Ooh, we have some uh, damage there to the back of the Sitco car. And he was not involved in the caution play. Huh. But Jeffrey Bodine was, and let's take a look at what put us under this uh, yellow flag number eight. Here we see him getting gray, and uh oh, we got Jimmy. Easy, Jimmy. Got a boy, Jimmy. Oh, just a touch. Just a touch. Just a touch. Jeffrey does a great job, does a 360, and somebody went by and took off that right front fender cap. I believe that was Dale Jarrett. Green flag. Most of the leaders did not stop under the caution. Ricky Craven is out in front. 38 cars on the lead lap. First one to lap down, Mike Wallace in the 14. We just passed halfway. Is it too early to mention the record for most number of cautions in a Martinsville race? Uh, nah. Since we're at eight now? We didn't do the over-under either. No. Uh, record would be... 15. You're close, 17. And we've how many now? Eight? Eight. How do we want to make that? Uh, oh, I'm not so sure I'm on that side of that one with you, BP. About, about 11 or 12 is all we're going to have. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sanity is going to a lot. prevail here one of these days. Yeah. I like the 15 number. 15. I think that's the ballpark we're in. Had uh, got some unique camera angles in some of these cars here at the short track. Remember, BP, you said that that camera on the right. side of Todd Bodine's car wouldn't yeah, live today? It was right about between the two and the six. I, I, when I walked to the garage this morning, I told the guys, I said, that camera's not going to make it. Watch. You were right. It's gone. Light, lights out. Uh-oh. Caution is out for debris. No, it is not the camera. Is it uh, <laughs> let's see, car. maybe something off the 99? Look, 99 still got most of the stuff flopping around. You know how you figure out what the debris is, Wally? You wait till they send the cleanup truck out and you watch it and see where it goes. Good thinking. So while we do that, let's take a break. Take advantage of having the yellow flag out. By the way, this is number nine of the Old Dominion 500. Ricky Craven leads at Martinsville. 